What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog. This is me Sameer and in today's video, let's talk about iPhone 16. I have been using this particular model since uh, past few weeks and I'm here to share my thoughts because I have some. So let's start with an opening statement that if you are considering to buy iPhone 16 Pro models, hold on to your horses because this is sufficient. The Apple iPhone 16 bridges the gap between vanilla models and pro models by introducing refined design, faster hardware, improved connectivity and charging, also improved cameras. The iPhone 16 is once again a pioneer in sturdiness because you get ceramic glass in front and at the back of the phone as well as you get the aluminum chassis which is quite sturdy in my opinion. Also you get IP68 rating which translates up to 6 minutes of water submersion. And it also has the same 6.1 inches of OLED screen which has XDR capability, does come with Dolby Vision support, also it supports HDR10. And talking about internals, well, iPhone 16 is a particular model I can recommend even if you already own iPhone 15 because now it has 8 GB of RAM. Well, now you must be saying that 2 GB of RAM is very minor upgrade. Well, my friend, that particular upgrade itself enables Apple intelligence on your iPhone. And talking about processor, Apple gave us A18 chip in iPhone 16, which is quite powerful and has advanced graphics when you compare it with A16 inside iPhone 15. So we can say that this iPhone 16 is equally powerful when you compare it with the last generation iPhone 15 Pro series if not better. And moving forward, if we talk about cameras, well, now you get the same 48 megapixel lens compared to the last generation. But I don't know how Apple made processing better when you take a photo or a video because this time you get a lot less lens glare. And not only this, there is an upgraded ultra wide camera with a bigger aperture lens and autofocus for some nice macro photos. And mind you, the macro mode only existed in the Pro models before this generation, but Apple bring it to the vanilla iPhones as well with iPhone 16 series. The iPhone 16 has the next generation MagSafe and Qi 2 support for up to 25 watt wireless charging. Well, Apple still kept the refresh rate of the screen at 60 Hz and uh, Another disappointment year for me because I was hoping Apple could have given us 90 hertz at least because the screen doesn't justify the power it packs under the hood. And mind you, we have unboxed iPhone 16 if you're interested. So I will give you the link in the iCard section. So make sure you check it out. But one thing which Apple introduced from scratch is this particular button, so-called button called camera control. And talking about the overview of the phone, again, you get the ceramic glass at the front, at the back, aluminum chassis, you get sapphire glass uh, as the protector of the lens as well of the camera at the back, of course. And overall, the phone is quite light and this new shape which came with iPhone 15 still hangs around because the edges are curved and it is quite comfortable to hold if you're using your iPhone for a prolonged period. Well, as you can see, I have this uh, teal color, but you also get the color options like white, pink and ultramarine. And this time, Apple also gave us action button in the vanilla models as well, which was only exclusive to the Pro models in the last generation. This, uh, personally, I didn't find action button and this camera control thing uh, not very useful because I'm not very intuitive or very good at learning all these new gestures for the camera because personally I feel that controlling your camera from the screen is much more simpler and faster. And talking about camera control, well if you're interested in dedicated camera review of iPhone 16, well we have made that and in fact we have compared it with iPhone 15 as well. So if you're interested make sure to check it out and I will give you the link in the iCard section and in the description as well. So coming back to the design, it does look bit refresh in my opinion because the camera array has been switched from diagonal to linear if uh, that is the word and that is the word I should use for this particular uh, position and overall I think this is much more suitable for one hand usage because as you can see my index finger rest under the camera which makes it quite comfortable position to use iPhone for prolonged period just like I said earlier. But it is not all sunshine and rainbows because let me just give you one example. I've kept this phone on the table and I'm gonna, you can hear it. This is iPhone 16 wobbling on my table because of this camera ray. 
And you also get all those Apple goodies like Dynamic Island, IR Blaster for face unlocking and AirDrop and all those Apple ecosystem features with this iPhone and those work marginally fast if you compare it with the last generation. Psst, psst. And let me tell you one secret no reviewer will gonna tell you and that is all these extra power 2GB of extra RAM won't make any difference in day-to-day -day usage if you use your iPhone casually and if you already own iPhone 13 and 12 do not need to upgrade to iPhone 16 those iPhones will work just fine for your use case so now let's talk about technical details and let's start with display as I already mentioned it comes with 6.1 inches of Super Retina XDR OLED screen found on iPhone 15 but the resolution is 2556 by 1179 pixels which gives you 460 ppi well this particular display is advertised to reach 1000 nits of maximum brightness and 2000 nits peak brightness and talking about battery the iphone 16 has 3561 mh and it is quite slightly an increase when you compare it with the iPhone 15 but I'll take it. And now let's talk about speaker. Well you get a stereo speaker setup on iPhone 16 and it sounds quite good and let me just uh, play a song for you guys and you'll be the judge. So as you heard already that the stereo separation is on point, the volume levels are quite good and to be honest, the bass is just fantastic and it is the perfect recipe for a bass head like me. So now let's move forward and let's talk about software. This is one particular area where I was skeptical and disappointed at the launch of iPhone 16 because Tim Cook said, The next generation of iPhone has been designed for Apple intelligence from the ground up. And to be honest, when these products starts to sell, AI, aka Apple intelligence was not in this particular model. It came with iOS 18.1 after the release of iPhone 16 series. In fact, after one month. And let me tell you one more thing. I live in India and we still did not get Apple intelligence uh, as a whole. We do had some limited features of Apple intelligence, but not the whole suite. And we also made quite a lot of videos covering each and every Apple intelligence feature on our channel. So make sure to check out those videos as well. But first, let's complete this video now let's talk about what these devices are meant for connectivity it comes with emergency SOS and find my via satellite so if your phone is out in the wilderness or you are help will be on the way if you ask for it the iPhone 16 has tri-band Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.3 with LE support for local connectivity and indeed, these are the first non-pro iPhone to house 6 GHz Wi-Fi band. And of course, you also get NFC at the back. The iPhone 16 also has second generation Apple Ultra Wide Band chip, it enables precise Find My with directional arrows and has up to 3 times increased range compared to the original Apple U1 chip. You also get Type-C port, but again, again, Apple gave us USB 2.0 interface which is quite slow when you transfer your data from your iPhone to your Mac or to Windows laptop or a PC. So Apple, can you please give us USB 3.0 at least? And now let's talk about performance. Well, we all know that Apple gave us A18 chip and iPhone 16 series, but how much it is better when you compare it with the last generation or few generation back? To be honest, the A18 CPU is 30% faster than the iPhone 15 CPU and 60% faster than the iPhone 12 CPU. And talking about GPU, it is 40% faster compared to iPhone 15 GPU and twice as faster as compared to iPhone 12's GPU. And for all the data bloggers out there, if I talk about Geekbench, it scored 3,239 in single core and 7,824 in multi-core. And talking about Entodo, it got 15 lakh plus score and that is just mind-boggling because for the first time this is a non-pro iPhone performing just like a pro iPhone. So now we have so much of power let's put it to the trial. So I'm a gamer personally and I like to play games on my phone so I started to play Genshin Impact and it ran smoothly on max setting hitting 60 FPS constantly. 
and games like uh, BGMI, PUBG or uh, Call of Duty. I don't think you should be worried if you play these games because this particular iPhone is capable of ray tracing and that too hardware accelerated no need to use software things and you can play resident evil you can play uh, those new assassin's creed mirage games on this particular iphone and they will run just fine on this piece of hardware but 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 it's not again all sunshine and rainbows because these iPhones do get heat up a lot when you play games, when you start to record a video. I don't know what is happening in the background. These phones do get heat up a lot and because of which the battery takes the toll. I know that Apple is using the second generation of their 3 nanometer node technology with TSMC to make 18 chip for uh, iPhone 16 as well as iPhone 16 Pro series. But in my opinion, I don't think it is the hardware limitation. I think it is the software limitation because of which the synchronization is not very good between software and hardware, thus producing heat. So should you buy iPhone 16? Well, that's the question of the R and the answer is quite simple. Well, if you are an early adopter who likes to try everything Apple throws at them, you can just go ahead and buy this particular device. Or if you are someone who just cannot live their life without the help of artificial intelligence, aka Apple intelligence, you can just go ahead and again buy this particular device. But if you are like me, who knows where to get artificial intelligence better than Apple intelligence, aka ChatGPT, Gemini, or even heck, Copilot. I think if you already own iPhone 15 series or older generation, I don't think you need to upgrade to iPhone 16 right now. Because the only caveat I have this particular iPhone is that still in India and many other countries like India, Apple is not offering the whole suite of Apple intelligence. However, if you're like someone who likes to wait, then of course you can just go ahead and buy iPhone 16 and wait for all those new precious Apple intelligence feature coming to iPhone 16 in front of your eyes. But if you already own an iPhone, you own an iPhone, so I don't think this iPhone replaces that iPhone. So that's all guys for today's video. And if you liked it, then make sure to press the like button. And if you have any further confusions, do let me know in the comment section. Uh, but sadly, I wouldn't be able to reply to all those comments because this is my last video with iGeeks blog. But you know where to find me. Uh, just search for Samir on YouTube and do some shorts and you will find me. Okay, so yeah, you can also go to the App Store, download the Blog app, enjoy everything Apple content, amazing wallpapers I can vouch for. And on this note, finally, this is me Sami signing off for the last time and I will see you somewhere.